I would have liked to become a painter. Which uh, then I realized this is my my gifts are not uh, enough for this uh, top aspect of art, art, uh, of artistic life. So it was architecture, but then architecture became really the main thing. We finished our studies in Munich with our diploma and we, we got a, a stipendium uh, from the RD, a German stipendium for, to go to Chicago. And then I had the opportunity because I had a friend who was the, the nephew of, of, of Miss van der Rohe to work in Miss van der Rohe's office from, this was 64 to 65, two, one and a half years. But, uh, but this, was, this was, of course, very important for, for me this time to, to realize or, or, or get to know the, uh, this tradition of, of the Bauhaus situation together with Hilversheimer also. And there was still another teacher who also was a student at the Bauhaus. And uh, so this was in a way important for me. But it came out at the end that of my own and the, the development of my friend Heinz Hilmer was uh, not continuing this attitude of Miss van der Rohe's because we thought is it is so so classically perfect that it's in a way an, an, an end point. When we came back, this was in '66. This was the time when. Uh, the question about the Tsiam, uh, the Kata of Athen tradition, was, was no more so convincing to us. And so uh, we really thought we, we should somehow go into another direction at the, from the urbanistic point of view. And so, um, because this was the moment when when you know uh, Jane Jacobs or uh, Aldo Rossi or the, um, uh, also Robert Venturi uh, uh, made these famous books in '66, and where uh, this had a great influence in us. We developed an architectural language which <laughs> somehow is between, um, which which never sort of forgot. Uh, the, the, the modern, uh, modern tradition of the, the Bauhaus in the time in the 30s, but which was open for new uh, uh, aspects of the historical provenance of architecture, which, uh, which is, has always uh, played, a, has always played a, a big uh, uh, part in, in the design of our buildings our architectural convictions, which is the, the, uh, the work and the further development of the, of the European city plan. And so this was also, uh, this was also uh, the basis for the next large thing we had to do, uh, or we won was the Potsdamer Platzwettbewerb in 91. The idea of continuing the historical shape of the Potsdamer Platz uh, situation with the octagonal Leipziger Platz and the following streets which were coming like a fan shape uh, towards the, the, the Potsdamer Platz which was and, and we took this as a as a basic idea for the whole thing and, and it also turned out to be somehow like this with very different architectural uh, uh, demonstrations then with Helmut Jan and uh, Renzo Piano and uh, Giorgio Grassi and uh, different, very many different, also Berlin architects there. Yeah. We ourselves did then uh, a few buildings there. The, the, uh, the, the, these two pavilions and the and underground and the underground station uh, railroad and, and subway station and, and this one hotel on the place there 
And so we, we also architecturally were present. At the moment we do something very different together with Franco Stella, the reconstruction of the Berlin Schloss, the, the castle, the historical castle, which is going to be the center of, of the historical part of Berlin and which will, will change the whole spatial situation around uh, the center in a, in a great uh, manner. And one can already now see and feel the spirit which will develop. The most important building we, for us we have done is the Gemälde Gallery in Berlin. Can you see it like this, uh, put it like that? Um, this is a study which then we also, uh, in the competition, uh, put it on the, as we showed it, and we enlarged it and, uh, and, and used it for presentation. This is this area where now the, uh, the, the, this ramp goes up to the Kultur Forum. This is, a, this is a sketch on the, on the position of the Gemälde Gallery within the uh, urban settings somehow, but, but it, maybe one can only understand it oneself because it's so, so sketchy, the whole thing. This is a, a very different way of drawing, of course, as the others, because it's, it's done on, on, with a lineal with a, and, 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 but still in, in pencil, exactly like this, are both drawings on the, on the Gemälde Gallery. This is this interior space, this is the interior squat space with these, uh, in a way, arabistic uh, kind of uh, vultures, uh, for, as it was constructed with steel elements. But also studies like this typological uh, studies for a certain situation within the Potsdamer Platz Wettbewerb. That this is uh, this is part of our restoration job for restoring the uh, re redoing the. Uh, Martin Gropius building. Uh, it, at, at that time, it was uh, it, it changed its entrance because it, before it was from the backside because this was West Germany, and after the reunification in the early 90s, uh, we, they changed the entrance. So we had to restore this uh, old uh, entrance part of it. This, you know, this was a competition for this area where the CDU uh, uh, headquarters are, and we got the second prize there, not the first one. It's not the final thing which we, which we then, uh, it's also combined, you see, this is uh, glued on it somehow. It's a kind of a collage of, of, for, for the preparation of the competition. This is this I like because it's I'm another color. It's not always this green, green and 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 blue way, but in red. A study for a Berlin competition. This was a a competition for the museum in in Charlottenburg uh, for the uh, Gerstenberg collection. And but because as architects we also did the the, the background museum on the other side. Oh, okay. This was uh, this was in, uh, in in the end end of the nineteen nineties. And this is an early uh, one of the early houses in the early seventies, seventy two or three. And in, in, in Karlsruhe, and it shows also. A very uh, leger aspect to to find out what one really wants to build eventually. This is another house we did in in 
Berlin, Kurfürstenstraße, besides the Einstein restaurant. We still now in our office present hand drawings by myself com combined with, with, uh, with uh, uh, computer sketches, uh, com computer renderings. So you have these both aspects of, if you, you can, and this is a hand drawing, and if you combine it and have the same thing in a, in a, in a rendering by computer, it makes a kind of a dialogue or, or a, a, a interesting tension between the different things. But I, in a way, I, this expresses very much my feeling about things. Drawing, it's every day, it's really the, the daily thing to do. And drawings are very different aspects. It's not that I wanted to develop a, a hand style, like uh, the architectural drawings, uh, drawing lessons we got at the school in Munich. There was a very important teacher he taught just a whole group of Munich architects and also German architects by his style of, 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 of drawings, which I, this I didn't want to, to develop such a, but, but to be free with uh, and develop it out of the theme which I'm doing on. And of course I did also drawings when I, when I was on, 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 on journeys or on, so. But this is, dear, they are not, for me, not important. It's, it's really more those which really have to do with architectural expression.